Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. I just want to show you some improvements that I made to my Hypercube belt printer. The most important thing is I've added a stepper motor with a 27 to 1 gear ratio. Thanks to Bill for pointing me in that direction. I don't have to modify the, the mount at all. So I use the same SL files. The holes are slightly different, but I just drilled new holes. So obviously now I've got lots more torque. So that means I can tension this belt a lot. Um, also, it means for people who don't have access to, to a laser printer belt, that you can use your stainless steel, make up a stainless steel belt with Kapton tape to keep it together and that will work very well. The second change I made was, as you've seen in my previous videos, I've made, I did some tests with tail smoothers. Uh, on my extruder I've got one of the DRV8825 stepper motor drivers, so I just put a tail smoother on the extruder. The other improvement that I made was, previously I had a printed extruder and then I just bought one of these I think it's called Mark 8 extruders, just a, a simple aluminium thing. And that improved my, my prints quite a bit because the, the printed thing would, was skipping the steps. So now I want to show you some of the things that I printed. Here's a quick time lapse of the MU being printed. And this illustrates nicely the overhangs that you can get. So you can see I tilted the Pokemon right back and I printed it in vase mode so there are holes and things like that but it can print. So normally when you print the overhangs has to be like 45 degrees this way, 45 degrees this way. But because the whole bed on this printer is tilted at 35 degrees we can get 45 degrees plus another 35 which adds up to, to about 80 degrees so you can see you can easily print with an overhang like that with no problem the reverse is though true that from this side I had 45 now I have to subtract 35 so now I only have 10 degrees left so you can see it in the head of the Pokemon here where this is more than 10 degrees the print quality is not as, as good over there. So when you're printing like this, make sure you've got lots of layers to be able to, to make up for that uh, or have info. Okay. Here you can see a smaller one that I print later with like three parameters and it came out beautifully. So these supports are just uh, calibration cubes that I put down and then turned into supports in Kira because in Kira you can say prints models as support so here's some close-up pictures of the model you can see the layers are looking pretty good we're definitely making some progress in the quality here somebody was asking if I can print ABS so I did the same model in, in pink ABS it came out pretty well. I, at the back there, there's some issues and it has some boogers but the rigidity is pretty good I think. On the bed you can see the tail of this Pokemon that I printed and I just put on again a cube to make the support for this. So this is ABS so I'll, I'll just glue it together, glue the tail on and then smooth it using acetone. The other change I made is to put a roller on this side. I was trying to print this Fortnite uh, pickaxe and obviously it's too, too long for the bed so I, want, I needed the roller. So I made a mistake on this roller though. As it was printing, because the side is quite a bit heavier, it sagged a bit and instead of going over the roller, it bumped into the roller and then it moved and uh, got loose from the bed so you can see it didn't finish printing but again you can see 
uh, it's first printed without any info and normally to print something like this without any info would be well impossible on a normal hypercube like this one yeah so the other nice advantage of this is the time that you save uh, this print took about 12 hours to print and I think with info it would have taken like 17 hours this little ABS guy I also printed without any any info just to speed it up a bit and with three layers three parameters and that seems to work very well on this kind of printer so I don't worry so much about info I just give it three parameters which makes it strong and saves you time as well so the one announcement I have to make is put a roller at the end to guide or to help the part slide over onto the main roller on the other side so I've got this roller that I got from my brother leftover printer parts obviously so maybe I'll mount it here somehow you'll notice that I haven't replaced my belt yet with a new belt so that's happening soon thanks again for watching Hope you have a great day.